Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Diecast, and today we're opening a big one. A 1-500 scale Boeing 747-400 from United Airlines. So this is basically what the box looks like, as you can clearly see here. We have the Star Alliance logo up there. Of course, we have the United titles, and it says Exclusive Siri. And this is from Harper Wings, 1-500 scale. And you can also see that over here it says it is the Harper catalog number 511520. Here we just have some legal information. And then on the other side, you can see that this back in the day costed 49.50 Deutsche Mark, which was about 25 euros exchange rate back in 2002. At the back of the box, we have some close up pictures of the plane. Then you can see this is model number 4643 out of 5,000, so this was a limited release. So there's only 5,000 people on this planet in terms of Herpa collectors that have this model. And I'm one of them. So down here we have the original dimensions. Now the 747-400 is a big plane, but this box is much bigger because it also includes the display box. That's right. Once upon a time, Herpa used to sell special editions where it wasn't just a plane, but a display box as well. But it didn't mean they were prohibitively expensive or anything. On the contrary, I actually picked this up for just 15 euros. Plane and display case. For that kind of money, you don't even get a regional airliner from Herpa these days. Anywho. Here it is. So here's the base, and you can see that it has a beveled edge on which it says United Airlines B747-400. Herpa Wings Exclusive Series. So the base of the display box is made to look like the apron area of the airport where aircraft are parked and serviced on. And here's the plexiglass cover. It's got a small Herpa logo on it, and then the far end is made to look like the wall of the airport terminal building, or perhaps a hangar. And here's the latch with which it clips onto the base, like so. Anywho, here's the plane packed in its own plastic box. This allows you to keep the plane inside while you can use the display case for a different plane you may have purchased that didn't come with a box. But here it is, Herpa's 1500 scale United Airlines 747.
So here's the plane in all its glory. And this was known as the battleship livery. Unfortunately, too many people like to associate this livery with September 2001, but the livery was adopted in 1993 and lasted until 2004. Herpa did make a new generation version of this, with scale-accurate landing gear and with white door frames, but that one is a lot harder to find compared to new generation United Airlines 747s with the post-continental merger livery. And besides, they didn't come with the display box, which was the main reason I bought this. So we'll start off by taking a look at the L1 door on the port side of this aircraft. And you can see that the door actually has a really nice level of detail, just like all the others. You've got the window, you've got the door lever, and then you even have something on top of the lever, which is really hard to focus. Next to it, it says Worldwide Service, which used to be a logo of United Airlines. And then up here, we have the Star Alliance logo. And then at the top, we have the emergency exit hatch for the pilots. And here you can see the upper deck, which also has an emergency door. United Airlines titles. And now, as we move along the side, you can see that we have a red cheat line, which separated the gray upper body from the dark blue underbody. And as we reach toward the rear of the plane, you can see that we have here the registration. And the registration reads November 171 Victor Alpha as in VA, something that will make any avgeek and aviation enthusiast smack their foreheads in disbelief, as the registration United Airlines is supposed to end in is Uniform Alpha, or UA. But now let's take a closer look at the iconic tail. And I think Herpa did a really good job on the paint job for this tail, because not only does it have the Lotus logo of United Airlines, but the blue and black is actually done in a really nice fashion because you can see that there's like a separate texture for them and it's not just a singular print. So that's really cool. And here's the top view of the plane. I mean, just look at this wing detail. Not only are the flaps, slats, and air brakes carved really well, but you can also see that we have the no step written on these wings. This is spectacular for 1500 scale. Even more so considering this is a Herpa and not a Shuko Starjets. Even more so considering this is in fact an old gen Herpa with the old landing gear. I mean, you have these markings even on the horizontal stabilizers. Some of Herpa's new generation A380s don't have that kind of detail here. And you get beacon lights as well. The Boeing 747 is powered by four engines, and these are Pratt & Whitney PW4056s. And you can see they have the silver leading edge, the nacelles are painted in dark blue, and then we have nice fan blade detailing as well. And here's a front view of the Boeing 747-400, and you also get a closer look at the cockpit windows here. And what I like about them is that we actually get silver cockpit window frames on them. Now, unfortunately, I just noticed that there's a very small tear in one of the windows, but I mean, it still looks good. You don't get any window wipers but from this angle, you also get a good look at the turbines again. Really cool. Now, this being an old gen Herpa, it of course has the clunky landing gear, but one advantage of it is that it rolls compared to the newer gen, which is really nice. You can't expect most new generation models to do that and always have to be careful that the wheels don't snap off. Taking a look at the bottom of the plane, you can see that it says Herpa right here in the middle. We have pretty good underwing detail, including the trailing edge fairings, and here you get a better look at the slats. 
and the stabilizers, or the elevators, I should say. And over here, you can also see the plane's cargo doors printed on, which is a really nice extra detail for an old Gen Herpa. Because of the dark blue nature of the underbelly paint, it is kind of hard to see them from low angles, but um, otherwise, it's still a really good looking plane. So what are my concluding thoughts about the 747-400 in the United Airlines Battleship Library? Let me put it this way. For anybody who is interested in starting a 1-500 scale airplane collection, out of all the gazillion models out there, this is the model I can highly recommend as your first one for several reasons. It is cheap. You can find this anywhere between 15 and 30 euros. It is big, one of the biggest 1500 scale models out there, considering it is the 747. It has a higher level of detail than other old gen Herpa 747s, and most importantly, for the price you pay, you get this hard plastic case to display the model without it catching dust. And this display case, in fact, has enough room to place some airport accessories around the plane as well like stairs, service vehicles, and perhaps even a small regional airplane next to it. So that way you can store two planes in this case. Great value for money, especially now that we're in a day and age where new Herpa releases are often tiny regional planes for a higher price than this entire set here. So if you like this review, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe, because I regularly post plane reviews on this diecast channel along with my car reviews. And until I review my next plane, why not check out some other ones I reviewed here? Take care. This is Imperial Diecast, signing out.